Today I'm going to show you an in-depth drug script created by Mustache Dom. It has plenty of drugs with interactive ways to make them and drugs you can get prescriptions for. It also features a mission or heist for meth and oxy, a traveling merchant where you can buy necessary items, and more. I'll leave a link to the resource as well as the preview made by the creator in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource, and once you're there, scroll down to the dependencies and make sure you have them all installed. Then we'll go and hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. We'll then drag what we downloaded in. And remove the main from the end. And go to your server CFG. And ensure the resource. After that, hit File and Save. Then we'll go back to the resource. Go into Images and copy everything in here. So Control A and Control C. Then go to whatever inventory script you use. So I'll be going to QB Inventory, HTML and Images, then paste what we copied. Next, we're going to add the necessary items. So we'll go back to the README and copy the block of code here. Then go back to your resources, go into the QB folder, go into QB core, shared, and then items. Then we'll scroll all the way down. And paste what we copied. I will mention, if you're on a newer server and your items look different, items using the brackets in the old format will still work. So once you've added the items, hit File and Save, and then move on to the next step. Next, go back to the Resources and into the QB folder. We're going to find QB Drugs and delete it. Then we're going to find QB Radio Menu and open the config. Then we'll go back to the README and copy this event here. Then we're going to find the corner selling event here and replace it with what we just copied. Then hit file and save. So we're going back to the QB folder and we're looking for a QB admin menu. We're going to go into server and open the server.lua. Then we go back to the readme and copy this block of code here. And we're going to be replacing this with what we just copied. Then hit File and Save. Next, we're going to QB Shops. And then we're opening the config. And then we'll go back to the README and copy the block of code here. We'll hit Enter and paste what we copied. Then hit File and Save. Next, we're going to go back to the Resources, go into Standalone, and go into RP Emotes. Then I go into Client, and then open the animation list.lua. Then go back to the README and copy this block of code here. Then we'll Control F and search for Uncuff. Now, if you don't have it, we'll just paste it here. So hit Enter and paste it and then hit File and Save. Next, we need to make sure there are no preset teleports that could be interfering, so we'll go back to the QB folder, go to QB Small Resources, and open the config. Then scroll down to where the teleports are, and we're going to remove Coke. Okay, and after you've done that, hit File and Save. Next, we're going to add the police alerts. So go back to the README and copy this code here. Then go back to your resources and find the resource. Then go into the client section. And the first section here we're going into is corner selling. So open that up. We're going to highlight this here. 
and replace it with what we copied, then hit File and Save. Then go back to the Client section and we're going to go into Deliveries. This is around 168, so we'll scroll down, highlight this again and paste, then hit File and Save. Then we're going into Oxy Runs. Highlight this again and paste. And the last part in here is Wholesale, so we'll open that up. Highlight this again and paste, then hit File and Save. Next, we're going into the built-in version of QB Drugs that's attached, so go back to the resource. Go into Shared and open this one here. First, you have the chance of a successful sale, then the chance of being scammed or robbed. That's followed by the minimum amount of police that need to be on duty to be able to sell and the minimum maximum amount each drug sells for. Adjust those to your liking. Then we have the options for deliveries. You can enable nearby deliveries if you want by setting this to true and below that, set the distance you want the delivery location to be within. Then you have the chance for police to be called. Again, adjust to your liking. Then we have the shop products. I won't be changing any of that. Then there's if you want marked bills or cash to be given. By default, it's set to false, meaning cash will be the reward. Then there's the rep gain and rep loss for successful deliveries or if it was late and so on. The police modifier and the wrong amount or overdue fees. Again, adjust these to your liking. The last sections in here are the delivery items and locations. I won't be changing any of that. Change if you wish. If you didn't make any changes, make sure you hit file and save. Next, we're going to go into the config. I'm going to skip over the reward items. The first thing is aux target. If you don't use it, set it to false. Then you have the respawn time. I'm not changing that. Once you test it out, adjust it to your liking. Then there's the feel. If you use another feel script that isn't the default, change it here. Then we have aux inventory. Same as aux target. If you don't use it, change it to false. I'm keeping the tier system as true. Now, as stated previously, if you have a newer server where the item names are different, change this to true. If not, keep it to false. And then you have the image link for the inventory you use. I use QB inventory. So we'll do. And then from there, we're going to hit file and save. As stated in the readme, the locations need to be changed as they were set up for the preview video. So next, I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. Okay, so I'm in the server. As an example, I'm just going to show you how to change the coke location. So when you're at the spot you want it to be, I'm going to copy the vector three chords, go back to the config, and replace it. This could be the teleport in. Then we're going to save it and restart the script. We're going to go in, and once you're on the other side, we're going to copy the vector three cores again for the teleport out. Go back to the config and replace it. Then we're going to copy the cores for the spot to make the powder. So go over here like it was before. Copy the cores and replace it. Then hit file and save. Then we'll go back in and restart the script again. So now I can make the powder here. And I got the raw cocaine. And then we'll go ahead and leave. That'll be all for this video. If it helped you out and you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. I'll also leave a link to the preview video as well. Thank you for watching.